Hi there, I'm Pearl. I'm Bob. And we are Just Passing Through. And this is our next exit. Come and join us. And you'd be joining us in Florence, Oregon. Yes. We made it. We started out way down here in the Keys, went all the way through Florida, across Louisiana, Texas. Up, we spent three weeks in Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe at Tahoe Valley. We already covered Lake Tahoe, so this is going to be from Tahoe over to Jackson, California, Jackson, to visit California, my sister Helen. Russian River, Kalamath River. Yep, and then uh, up here to Florence, Oregon. Right uh, off the coast. This is South Jetty Campground. Oh, headed to. Uh, Jackson Ranchero RV Park in California. And I get to drive. First time in a long time, been close to a year, I think. But we got uh, the campground here, Lake Tahoe, somewhere 7,400 foot or something like that. And uh, we got to go up over Carson Pass and I think it's around 8,600 foot. And it's been raining and snowing off and on. There's no controls up. But uh, going down that pass, we need to use our jake brake, or pack brake, exhaust brake. And uh, you're not supposed to use that when it's slick, when it's raining or snowing or slick. So we wanted to make, make sure we went down while uh, in between rain showers, while the roads were dry, hopefully. And it's about 10 o'clock and the next snowstorm is supposed to be here about one o'clock. So should be the perfect window but Pearl don't want to mess with it so uh, she's falling in the car we're not towing the car and so far so good Headed to California, some sunshine. That's a uh, Indian casino, and it's a beautiful campground. It's like sixty dollars or something a day. It's a little expensive for us, but uh, it's really nice. You get your money's worth. The sites are all paved. Yeah. The grass is gorgeous. We only spent two nights here, and that was just so we could go and visit Helen and my niece Bobby. So you can see they look. They really used to look a lot alike. I think. And this is where my sister discovered I was grayer than she is, and she's 17 years older than me. But we had a nice small family get together to visit Helen while we were there in Jackson. Jackson Rancheria's got a truck wash, and now it's real anxious to get the motorhome through there, but it's 12 foot 8 inches tall. They got a barrier there so you can tell if you're too tall. Well, we're 12 9, but I thought I would just check and see if we could make it. And we couldn't. We could have lowered the airbags and got under it, but I was just afraid that we'd end up getting, I was just afraid we'd end up getting some damage. Right. So the next, whenever we left Jackson Ranch Maria, I got to drive again, because we was taking another little farm to market road, getting uh, up over to past Sacramento. So I got to only drive an hour that day. Yes. You relaxing a little bit today, baby? Am I what? Relaxing? 
little bit. Life in the easy lane, huh? Yeah, so far so good. Headed to, where did I say we're headed? Russian River. Mm -hmm. Thousand Trails Campground. So this is Russian River, and Russian River only has 30 amp sites yes. and no sewer. And it's pretty hilly, and Definitely. a lot of sites have got some quite a bit of slope to them. I think it's good for, at least for our situation, for an overnight maybe. We had a pretty nice spot. It was nice and big pull through. But uh, I don't think we'd want to spend any time there. It's right on the river, and they got a path down to the Russian River. But it's all rocky. There's not. It uh, would be on our A-list. But it is, we'll stop going back, I'm guessing, because uh, it's on the way. It's kind of a dead spot in there for a thousand trails. So we'll probably stop again going back. Maybe for an overnight stay. Yeah. But it is pretty. They have two sections. The upper section, or the first section, is really tight. We didn't take the motor home in there. They kind of warned us about how tight it was. But the second section is tight, but it wasn't really an issue. We uh, took the motor home in with the car hooked up, and it wasn't really any, any problem. While we was at Russian River, we went to Glass Beach. Oh, that's right. And they, uh, it used to be a dump yard for the, Who's or that people. what town? Uh, Fort Bragg. For Fort Bragg, yeah. For Fort Bragg and that area there. And uh, so anyway, all the stuff that's biodegradable <laughs> deteriorated and it was gone. And then the glass for the last hundred years has just been rolling back and forth, back and forth. So it's real smooth and people have been getting it for jewelry and all that yes. kind of stuff. Working on our May expense report. Headed from uh, Russian River to where, sweetie? Crescent City. I don't remember the name of the park. Where are you going here? So then we left Russian River and we headed up to Klamath River, which we got to drive through all those redwoods, and that was pretty awesome. We had gone through redwoods before with our pickup camper a long time ago. But these were massive. They were right on the road. They were big and they were just right there at the shoulder. There's virtually no shoulder. There's a tree. So I got to do some backseat <laughs> driving, which Pearl always loves. But it was a great drive. It was very pretty. And this is Highway 101. So we hit Highway 101 right there around Russian River. Or right before Russian River, I think. But we're going to take it all the way up the coast pretty much. And so far it's been pretty good. A lot of curves. Just got to go slow and take your time. And some construction areas. A lot of construction areas. Bob thought I could not get into this campground. Watch. Arriving Watch. At River Listen, also. Right. That's a freaking U turn if I ever saw one. I don't care if I get those tires. So, look at Please drive to highlighted route. Shit. <laughs> Klamath River, and it's a real pretty park. Really nice, gr nice grass, and it's got some stickers in it. So if you got a fluffy dog, it's not great, but it's pretty good. And uh, Klamath River is a pretty big river. Yes. 
And the people that got new owners, they were really nice. We had 50, did we have 50 amps there? I think so. I think we did 50 amps and full hookups. They were constantly working on the campground, up, doing some upgrades. So it's small, but it's nice. We, we wouldn't mind staying there at all. And good thing about it, in most RV campgrounds, you can't wash your vehicle, but here at Klamath River, it's not automatic. It takes a little blood, sweat, and tears, but we got to wash the coach, and it sure looked nice for two days two that we days. left. And we went through a heck of a rainstorm, and it even, all went to pot again. Even washed the car. Yeah. Looked nice well, for two days. Yeah, it is a good feeling when you get to your rig wash. But it's nasty again. We got to figure out another. <laughs> Another place to wash the, the coach. Got an extendable pole there where you can extend it out so you can go all the way to the top. So just walking along, wash a section, then rinse a section. And then I've got a, it's not a regular chamois, it's a high technology chamois or something. But anyway, you can wipe off the water real easy. It absorbs it and uh, you don't get hardly any spots. It works out pretty good. Took about two hours, I guess, to wash the coach and the car. And then we went to this, all over the redwoods, there's these drive through these whole redwood trees. Well, don't do the one at Klamath. Don't do the one at Klamath River if you got any size car at all. We got stuck. We had our mirrors out and they lodged right in there. And I tried to yank free and finally Pearl just put it in reverse and back, backed up and it popped loose. I almost thought for a minute that I squished your fingers. Yeah, we popped, you did. Oh. <laughs> we popped the mirrors in and then we was able to make it through but we had like an inch and a half on each side so you didn't whine <laughs> i'm not a whine but we made it through but uh, they charge five dollars to go through this it's only two miles away or something right from where and we, there, we saw signs all over about drive through the one we drove through back before we drove our pickup camper through we probably pulled the mirrors in but we just drove through it we didn't have any problems at all Oh, the white jeep? Okay. Yes. Anyway, we didn't have any problem there. No. That was the big redwood, the sequoias. Yeah. The real one. The yeah. real sequoias. Well, yeah, these are sequoias here, but I... But, yes. They're uh, middle-aged. They're not uh, seniors. Right. They're not baby boomers. Get that mirror back out. Get that mirror back out. <laughs> It was nice to go see. If you have a small car, it's enjoyable. The kids so we, get a real kick out of it. So we finally made it to Oregon. And the first thing we did in Oregon is we went and got us some Oregon priced fuel. It was 333, it was 330, 334 at, uh, what's that market? Fred Meyer. It was 334 here to Fred Meyer's and then you get a card and you get three cents off. So 331, which was a dollar are more cheaper, cheaper than, than California. Other, yes. And then as we got further down, we're finding it now for 290 or 285. Some of it's that biodiesel, but it's not hard to find $3 diesel. And we get to see the Pacific Ocean. So, and it's pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. It's nice. It is nice. Depending on where you're at, the ocean, the beach is just beautiful sand is just great the only bad thing is it's a little bit cool down in the keys is. it's nice and warm and just jump in and go swimming so while we're here at south jetty we're about two miles from the ocean so we go over there regularly and walk on the beach and look for likes looking for shells and uh, flying the drone and whatnot uh we've got a son that lives here son and daughter-in-law and a grandson and our daughter-in-law just got her doctorate yes. in uh, clinical psychology Yes. just a few months ago. They, they uh, have a publishing company and they've got like 20 something books of uh, different tattoo art that they sell all over the world, pretty successful. And then they've got a line of children's books that they do also. Yes. And now they're opening up a, and they're opening up a new art gallery here in Eugene called Out of Step Gallery. Okay. And, uh, they're doing today or this week they're doing a mural inside and then they've got artwork coming in from all over the world people want mostly tattoo artists 
and different kind of artists that uh, really the high-end kind of artists guys that want to display their art in their uh, gallery yeah so we're pretty excited to see that it won't be open until the middle of July but it's right next door to McDonald's theater is it McDonald's? It's in the McDonald's building. So it's right next door to the McDonald's Theater in downtown Eugene, which is a pretty popular area. Artsy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Artsy area. So we're anxious to come back through this fall and uh, go through the gallery. Yes. And then we went over to the Seal Cave. Oh, right. When we were there, there was only like yeah. five or six seals. Ten miles from South Jetty. About ten miles from South Jetty. Just outside of Florence is the yes. uh, Seal Cave. So Steve and Jinxie and our grandson Aiden, they all came down and spent a couple of nights with us. And we went to the Seal Cave. There's only a few seals in the cave, five or six or something. Uh, but out on the rocks, there was a oh, hundred. Oh, at least. Huge, a bunch of seals. At least. And uh, Steve and Dr. Jinxie, wow, I like saying that, Dr. <laughs> Jinxie, they, uh, they came down a few months ago with their our other grandson and granddaughter and that still cave was full they so anyway it's a fun time and then we went up to a lighthouse just a mile or two away from seal cave and there was a big mama whale and her baby that was uh coming up breaking water breaking water and uh about yes whatever you call it yeah. and anyway you could see them that was pretty neat so that was a pretty good uh couple days and then they got these two little dachshunds what's their names coconut and pumpkin pumpkin and coconut and you and can tell the names because of the coloring of the little dachshunds they're so cute and it's like they're just glued at the hip they're they miniature just, yeah they just want to do everything uh, they had tinker scared today a tinker did not get along with them but it was fun to watch they were uh, you throw a stick and they'd <laughs> run after it one of them get it the other get it and they'd pull and it was pretty fun and then we got, uh, as you know, at Tahoe Valley, I think I mentioned in our last video, we got two of our airbags exchanged, that, uh, replaced, that were leaking. And then I got the third one replaced here at South Jetty. And an airline I had to replace that was leaking. And it looks like our air leaks and our auto leveling is fixed. Knock on wood. We won't know till we leave, but we, we're thinking we got that thing. That was our last big hurdle. And now our steering wheel is off just about an inch so we need to go get the front end of the line we bought a safety plus a steering enhancer a stabilizer stable yeah steering stabilizer mostly for a blow if you have a blowout or something where the, right. you won't just you know the tire just take off it'll help right. keep you straight so once we get the front end line we'll put that on probably at our next campground so that's kind of where we're at i think we made it it took a long time to get here but we're here so we'll be doing videos this summer about probably some of the things we're going to do, the different campgrounds we're going to. I think we've got a number of people to meet up with. Uh, we've been getting, I think a lot of people are here in the Pacific Northwest. We've yes. been getting a lot of emails from folks that are around here and we're going to try to meet up with as many as we can. If you're planning on coming to the Pacific Northwest and you want to see our videos on these campgrounds, be sure and subscribe, ring that little bell and it'll tell you when we put out a new one. And uh, that pretty much covers it, huh? That's pretty close. All right. Till we see you again, keep the wheels rolling. Stay safe. We'll see you at the next exit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, folks. Okay. Okay. Thanks, sweetie. Thank you.